Yes. Happy holidays. My name is Mickey Boyens, and I'm coming out of beautiful, beautiful Atlanta. I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. So today I am going to make a delicious butternut squash salad. Yes, I am so excited. A butternut squash salad. And I know you're probably like, butternut squash salad? That sounds interesting, Makiba. Uh, absolutely. So yes, I'm going to make this butternut squash salad. The base would be spring mix, of course. And I'm going to, besides have the butternut squash, and as I said, I'm going to bake it with some rosemary and thyme. It's delicious, right? Then I'm gonna to also top it with some craisins, some cranberries, dry it, of course, and some pecans for that crunch. And then guess what else? I'm going to actually put some goat cheese, but I'm using blueberry vanilla goat cheese. Mmm. Yes, I'm so excited about this. And then I'm going to make some dressing, okay? Mix it up with some Duke's mustard, some honey, pepper, olive oil, a little bit of white wine vinegar. Yes, we're gonna make that special dressing. But I am so excited. You know, it's the fall, it's the holiday season. You know, winter be around the corner. And I said, why not make some butternut squash? Make a butternut squash salad, right? I'm so excited. This is so fun and so colorful. So this is gonna be so much fun and exciting. I have all the ingredients. My oven is ready. So let's start first with the butternut squash because that has to cook for a while. And again, happy holidays to all of you. Okay, so here's the butternut squash. I'm so excited. This is a great fall and winter salad to make. Let's open this up first. How are you all doing this beautiful holiday season? Hopefully you all are coming together. You know, everybody wants to talk about the end of the year. How are you all doing during this holiday season? It's, it's, it's here. Thanksgiving is here. Uh, Christmas is here. You know what I mean? And soon we'll all be saying Happy New Year. I have truly enjoyed this year. I um, accomplished a lot and there's still a lot of things I must do. Um, but I feel good going into 2024. You know, when you move with grace, ease, and flow, there's no need to rush. Because <laughs> you're doing it right. Okay? So let's put the butternut squash inside. Wanna get those edges. I'm really loving this salad process. You know, I'm just really fun. It just there are no there are no words to really describe what I'm feeling right now when it comes to eating healthy and changing your lifestyle it's for longevity. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful feeling when you know you're putting life into your body. Um, I don't, I, you know, I just, I just don't know what to say. I can just live it, right? Now, I love garlic. I have to put some garlic on this, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna put some garlic. It's the recipe. I'm skewing it for me and my own taste. So I want to put some garlic in. I already have some thyme and some rosemary, but I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic and some basil. Here's some garlic. Never hold back on the garlic, okay? It's good for you. All right, next, and it smells good. Some basil. Now all of this is all of this is healthy for you. <laughs> all of it is. Don't hold back on the basil either. Then I'm going to put some rosemary. Break them up, break them up. This rosemary, this rosemary smells so good. That should be enough. Next, some thyme. Oh, 
And then once this gets done, then of course you take this out. You don't, you don't eat this. <laughs> Okay, that should be enough. Okay, and some parsley. Now we can go in and mix this up really good. Make sure the olive oil gets all over it. Oh, this smells so good. You know, people get excited, but people get excited when they cook, for instance, their collard greens, their chicken, their mac and cheese. I get excited for salads. <laughs> okay, I'm loving bowls, these plant-based dishes. Oh, these, like I'm loving to create bowls and those um, plant-based meals. Oh. This is just really life changing. And I've said it time and time again, it really is. Okay, so this is mixed in really good. So now I'm going to actually put it inside of my Pyrex. Okay. Let's now put this inside the Pyrex. And let you see what it looks like. Right? Delicious, right? Okay, let's put this in. Trying to get most of your oil in. Look at this. This is nice, right? All of this is healthy. You kind of want to spread your greenery around a little bit. Now, typically I don't do a luna foil, but I kind of want to follow some of the recipe um, instructions. So I'm going to put some aluminum foil because typically I will not use that. It is recommended to use aluminum foil. So I'll just do it this time, okay? Because personally, I don't even like aluminum foil. So I'm gonna put some aluminum foil over this. I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. Take it out, take the aluminum foil off, right? So when I put it back in the oven, it can get that crunch, that crisp on the edges of it. So let's put it, let's put the aluminum foil on top and then we'll put it in the oven, right? And then we begin to make the dressing. Happy holidays. Okay, so now I'm about to make this dressing. So I must be honest, this is my first time making dressing, okay? So I'm not, I don't have any measures or anything, anything like that, okay? So please <laughs> work with me, okay? Just, just work with me. So I'm gonna experiment, right? All right, let's do this together. So first, we're gonna start with, I noticed everybody use uh, Dijon mustard. I'm gonna use Duke's mustard, brown sugar bourbon, <laughs> okay? So let's put some, let's be experimental. We're gonna experiment, that's the part of, that's the beauty about living, right? You experiment, right? You make mistakes and then you get better. So let's put some mustard in here. That should be enough, right? We don't wanna overdo it. Okay, next, now I don't do a lot of salt, and actually I don't want to put any salt in. It, I'm just not a salt person. So, okay, so next let's do the honey, okay? All right. So let's pour some honey in. Let's pour, let's pour some honey in. We did the honey. Next, let's do some olive oil. Okay, that should be enough. This is very interesting, you all. Okay. And then last, I have some white wine vinegar, just a little bit. White wine vinegar. 
Just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. Okay, that's enough. All right, and then you're supposed to whisk this. But my little cute bowl, I typically put my fruit in this in the morning. Okay, so it's gonna be interesting. I have some dressing. I love poppy seed, but I wanted to, I wanna get more into making my own stuff. Okay, so this is about to be interesting. Okay, okay, so let me do the taste. Let me taste it. Mmm. Okay. It has some kick to it. I can't put that back in there. Okay. All right. Let me see what I need to put in there. It has an aftertaste. It has an aftertaste. I probably can put a little bit more honey in it. I think I can do that. A little bit more honey and a little bit more olive oil to balance it out. Because I think I may have put too much white wine vinegar in it. <laughs> Alright. I am impressed. Yes, I am. Did I say happy holidays, y'all? <laughs> I know I'm just having fun with that. Happy holidays. So let me tell you all, I went to a store recently and I was telling everybody happy holidays. I know they was like, <laughs> I was just doing it just be funny. Oh, you should have seen the looks on these people's faces. You could tell they weren't ready for nothing, honey. Okay, so, let me taste it. Okay, y'all ready? I'm ready, okay. Mmm, it's strong. It's very, it's strong, okay. No more white wine vinegar. I would say this is a winner. I'm impressed. Okay. I am impressed. So this is like homemade dressing. Just a little bit, not too much. You don't want to you don't want to make it too strong because remember now this is going to be a butternut squash salad. And we're going to top it with some craisins, some some um some dry cranberries. Oh, they're going to be amazing. And then we're gonna have some pecans for the crunch. And then of course, I'm gonna top it with just a little bit of blueberry vanilla goat cheese. Blueberry vanilla goat cheese. This is gonna be amazing, okay? So, let me check on the butternut squash and then we'll continue. Happy holidays. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna flip these so we can cook evenly. This is the development department, one head, three employees, the interns, they agree, break down all the scripts that come in, dates, message, character goals, dad was making down to that, that's the very beginning. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to put that aluminum foil back on top. Sound, color correction, APR session, you guys. Uh, Maybe y'all need me around more than I thought. <laughs> Okay, so the butternut squash is done. So let's begin to make this delicious butternut squash salad. We're using some mixed grain. Very good. Okay, so next I'm gonna add some dry cranberries. So so far we put some arugula in, and I also squeezed some lemon. I should have. I also squeezed some lime on here. I should have showed you all. But next I'm going to put in some. Um, I'm gonna add in some dry cranberries. I've already squeezed a little bit of fresh lime on my salad. You, you all know I love me some lime on my green. So I should have showed that part. Ooh, they smell so good. Just 
just a few more. Okay, so next we're gonna add in some pecans. Some people use almonds, walnuts. I prefer pecans. Okay, so next I'm gonna put some pecans in. I did not caramelize the pecans this time because I know you all are like, okay, are you gonna continue? Are you gonna always caramelize the pecans? No. <laughs> Put some pecans in just for the crunch not too many okay that's enough and then next i'm going to put the butternut squash in and then i'm gonna top it with vanilla some blueberry vanilla goat cheese okay you all this looks so good This looks so good. This looks amazing. Oh, it truly does. what it looks like yes yes so now I'm about to cut this open and put some vanilla put some blueberry vanilla goat cheese for the topping season it and we'll be done <laughs> chef kisses right now this blueberry can get a little messy so you have to be careful when you open this up yes it can definitely get a little messy so you want to squeeze some of this I don't say about that much. Not much. You know what I mean? That should do. For the topping. Yeah. We don't need too much, right? Remember I made the dressing? Yes. So I'm excited. Um, again, this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you all um, from a different angle. But this has been so fulfilling. As I said before, I've said it, I keep saying it. It's just something about this, just living healthy, you know what I mean? It's just, it's my time, you know. Sometimes you might try it and then you have to, you know, you kind of go back to doing old habits or whatever. But it is definitely my time because I actually truly enjoy this. Um, I really do. And it is such a blessing to know that, like I said, I'm putting life in my body, my kingdom. And um, I'm getting more into meditating, journaling, just, oh, I'm just so loving this, loving this process. This new way of living, okay? I'm so loving it. Okay, so let's wrap this beautiful, healthy butternut squash salad video up. Mm. Okay, I'm so excited. Look at my butternut squash salad. Um, topped with some blueberry vanilla goat cheese <laughs> yes and so also I have some dried um, cranberries and then I also have I have some also besides the blueberry vanilla goat cheese I have some pecans and some dried cranberries yes 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 I'm so excited and I will be drinking the organic super fruit 7 as I've shared before um, I purchased this from the Cal Farmer's Market. It is amazing, but um, it's a secret. I'm gonna try to learn how to make this myself. <laughs> That's our secret. And then I made me some, some dressing and I'm so impressed. I made my own dressing. You know, of course I just followed people on um, YouTube with all the great ideas. Anyway, I truly enjoyed this process. I look forward you know, you sharing your butternut squash salad. My name is Makiba Williams.
comment out of beautiful Atlanta. I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. And happy holidays. Looks so delicious. <laughs>